would you what you feel like you guys did well and what were the areas where, you know, in the moment you were disappointed with what happened? I told the team I'm proud of them. Um, I'm broken hearted for them. Um, but I'm proud of them because looking out on that field, we had an offense. The only time we got stopped on offense was when we made mistakes and stopped ourselves. Um, defense at times looked like the black shirts. I, think, I don't know what they rushed for, but we had their quarterback on his back, and we stopped the run all day. Um, when you're trying to go from being an, an average team to a great team, you don't beat yourself. And... Um, Spotting them 14 points is a good way to get beat. Not getting any fourth and shorts is a good way to get beat. Giving up third and 19s and third and 15s is a good way to get beat. Getting holding calls when you're trying to run out the clock is a good way to get beat. Um, getting penalties on third and 25 when they're trying to score the, the last uh, winning score is a good way to get beat. We can't beat ourselves. Um, we got to learn those lessons. We tried to preach them to them a lot. Uh, but if this team didn't beat itself today, um, we'd have won that game. What did you see from Andrew Bunchworth rushing action? Obviously, last drive. Yeah, uh, Andrew came in and did a good job. Obviously, he's got to put one of those last two balls in a catchable position uh, for Stanley or somebody else. But, um, you know, every time I, I thought we'd found every way to try to give the game away, we found more. Um, we got to catch balls when we're open in the end zone. We got to catch third down balls when our backup quarterback comes in and puts it on the money. And um, and those guys that did that, great players, and they're going to be great players here. Um, but it, it'd be hard to think of too many more ways to try to beat yourself today. How, how do you think Adrian played? And I know you don't like to get into injuries, but was there any encouraging feedback you got initially about his situation? Yeah, it's semi encouraging. Um, we're going to wait before we talk about it and see what uh, the doctors and everything looks like. But um, I, I thought he played great first time out there. There's just some mistakes, the freshman mistakes, first game mistakes that we wish we could have got out of our system last week. Um, Greg Bell fumbling early, Adrian fumbling. Uh, we'll keep working on ball security. We have been. Keep preaching it. We have been. Um, being smarter with the ball at the end. Uh, maybe I should have had him a different play when we threw that last interception, but the defense goes in and bails us out a few times. Uh, I, I thought he didn't play a good game, um, especially for his first game. Uh, he's 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 going to be a really good player around here. What was the what was your thinking on the play call right after Dedrick blew up that option play? We just wanted to go score. We're always going to be aggressive. We wanted to go score. We put him in the safest pass play that that we knew to run to get it started. Um, wasn't quite late enough in the fourth quarter to just think we could run the clock out with their timeouts. So we, you know, we're going to stay aggressive all the time and go for the score. We we should have thrown to the right and we threw to the left. And and the, uh, those are things. Adrian, he, he's the type of kid he won't make the same mistake twice. The two fourth and one, Scott. Just from what you can see from the sideline, is that just execution? Did you what did you see on those two? You know, we didn't try to get too cute on those fourth down and ones because. Shoot, we ran for, I don't know what we ran for, but uh, we were winning the battle up front. I thought we won the battle up front on both sides of the ball. Um, we just got to do it in situations like that. After your team got down by 14, what was it about the defense early? That Were they just tight? Were they kind of trying to find their way? What was going on? I think their team did a good job executing them on that first drive. They hit us with a lot of stuff or double reverse passes or whatever that thing was. And um, You know, you can practice against yourselves a lot, but until you see the, the speed of somebody else and how they're doing it, sometimes it takes a series. But we're going to address whatever it was to, to make both sides of the ball um, not come out and click early. We'll address. You know, it not I would never make an excuse, but it, having a game last week certainly probably would have helped the way we came out and played. Um, but it is what it is. It was the cards dealt to us. We can't turn the ball over in our first two possessions. We were going in to score on the first and uh, turned it over to them, and it's 7 nothing them instead of us having a lead. And then defense has got to step up. Uh, you spot any decent team 14 points, it's hard to, to come back. I was really pleased with how our kids responded to that situation and, and didn't blink. 
Six sacks, I think, was the final total. Six sacks. What? I mean, did you see that coming? Did you see that in preseason camp? Uh, be honest with you, I didn't know what I was going to see today. Um, I knew the team had prepared really well. I knew they knew the game plan. I knew they were going to play hard. But I didn't know what it would look like because I haven't been on the field with these guys before. Um, short of winning the game, I don't know, and staying healthy, I don't know if I could have been much more pleased with the way we moved the ball, uh, with the way some of our players performed, with the way our freshman quarterback performed, and the way the black shirts looked, minus a couple series and some bad mistakes. Scott, you haven't lost a football game in about 21 months. Uh, that was your first time coaching a game on this field. Obviously, a big day for you. Describe your emotions, walk off. Well, it's all wiped out when you lose. I, I don't care. Um, uh, I'm a competitor like all these guys in the locker room. and um, I, For three three quarters, I was having about as much fun coaching as I've ever had in my life, doing it back home. But um, yeah, we just got to find – we got to learn lessons to be able to win games like that and not beat ourselves. When you're trying to become a, a good team, you don't find ways to lose games, especially close ones. You find ways to win. Is that applicable to the special teams? Or there's some penalties there. Some, I don't know what your assessment was of that. Like that I'm not going to talk about penalties. Um, I'll talk about our mistakes, and we'll address them. Um, I think we made some undisciplined plays, and um, that's what. Average teams do. Anything else for coach? Thanks, guy.